Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I'm going to be doing a what sold on eBay video. But first, I need to announce the winners of my last jewelry giveaway. So first winner is Judith Montmeyer. Hope I said that right. Sorry if I didn't. But Judith is going to be getting these enameled leaf earrings. Thank you, Judith. And then Mary Doobie is going to be receiving these gold tone antiqued earrings. And then Vashi is going to be getting this statement necklace with the pearls for his mother. I love that. I love that you wanted to win something for your mom. I hope this is the one that you were talking about. This was the only statement necklace that had the pearls on it, but let me know if it's another one. If you guys pause the video, there is a time. It gives you a time, and if you give me that time, I know exactly what you guys are talking about but I think this is the one that you were referring to if not let me know but thank you to everyone who participated and made comments and responded that was a ton of fun and so the winners I need you to email me your addresses at Cali mom collects for the number four you at gmail.com. I will go ahead and put my email address on the screen and um, I will get these out to you guys. Thank you again and now we can move on to what sold for me on eBay. Okay the following sales were from June 15th through the 30th. And I'm going to go ahead and go over my jewelry sales first. First was this vintage Tiger's Eye Compass necklace. This necklace was super cool. I loved it. I have not seen something like this before. And it was in one of my large jewelry hauls. So I paid less than a dollar and sold it for $29.99. And it sold pretty quickly too. So this one was great. Okay, next piece to sell was this Brighton Heart Pendant Necklace. This necklace came out of a large jewelry haul for me, so I paid a dollar or less, and it sold for $19.99. I get so excited when I come across Brighton jewelry in my jewelry hauls because I know that it will sell. And this one did, and I think it was only listed for two to three weeks, so it was a quick flip as well. So this one was great. Next is this 11 pound bulk craft lot. I've started to go ahead and put all the pieces that I can't sell. Either they are broken or faded, or I just don't have the time to fix jewelry. So I am going to be selling them in bulk lots for crafters and repurposers, someone who would have a blast getting in there and getting the beads or fixing the broken pieces or repurp repurposing them in any way that they want to. So this was the first one to sell and it sold for $19.99. Okay, these pieces are skull bracelets. These skull beads are actually made from real stone. They're pretty cool. And there was two in one of my bulk lots. So I listed them both for $9.99 and they sold. Next is this Zilpata Sterling Silver Cubic Zirconia Ring. I used to be a Silpata representative, so I have quite a bit of jewelry left from that. Um, some of it I wear and some of it I don't, so this was a piece that I was willing to part with, and it sold for $57.99. One thing is, is I sold quite a few years ago, I probably like 8 or 10 years ago, and so most of the pieces that I have are retired pieces. And uh, Silpata jewelry definitely holds good value. So I was happy to sell this piece for $57.99.
This is an Alex and Annie Wonder Woman bracelet. I got this bracelet along with two other Alex and Annie bracelets at a rummage sale. And I paid $5 for all three. And this one sold for $18. Now, I have had this listed for a while and the other two are still listed. So I was happy to finally sell this one for $18. Now, hopefully the other two will sell as well. Next, we have these Betsy Johnson pink gingham cherry hoop earrings. These were brand new and they came out of one of my large jewelry hauls. I believe they were in one of my first videos. And so I paid less than a dollar and these ones sold for $16.99. Okay, another thing that I have just started doing is putting together jewelry jars. Now, this jewelry jar has well over 20 pieces in it. So the buyer is getting, after shipping and the $19.99, they're getting each piece for probably a dollar. And it's an opportunity for me to get rid of some of the bulk of the jewelry that I have that I don't want to spend the time to list each piece individually. Um, all the pieces in the jars are wearable jewelry. They're not broken or faded. They're in good condition. And so this was my first one and it sold pretty quickly. So I will probably go ahead and make some more. My last jewelry sell was another bulk craft lot. This one was 13 pounds and um, I still listed it for $19.99 and they have sold for me pretty quickly. And I think it's because I list mine a lot lower than a lot of the others do. I've seen them listed for $50 or more. Um, but I just feel like it is a decent price for what it is. It is jewelry that needs to be repurposed or fixed. And I feel like that $19.99 is a fair price. And so they are selling quicker than I can put them together. So that was my last jewelry sell. And we are going to go ahead and go on to my hard goods and collectible sales. Okay, first is this Mad Cat's Xbox controller. Now, I was at a garage sale and I saw a box and it had an original Xbox console and about 20 Xbox games and a couple controllers and I bought the whole box for $25 and I have already sold the console for 50 and almost all of the games. Um, some of the games went for 30 to 40, some around 20 and some around 10. I am down to just my last couple pieces from that box and this controller just sold for $8.99. So that was a really great buy and I would definitely source Xbox and video game stuff even though I don't know a whole lot about them but it's it's definitely great sellers. Okay these were a different sale for me. These actually I sourced at Nordstrom Rack um, over a year ago. I was there and they were in the clearance section and I believe I paid around $10 a piece for them. And I think I missed the season because they sat all year and then just all recently sold within the same week. This one sold for $32.99. And so that was a great profit even though they had to sit for a while. Okay, another one of the Rainbow Pool Floats sold. This one sold for less because I had sent out an offer for $28 and this person was the first one to accept the offer. So they got it for $28 and then when the other watchers saw that they were selling, the rest of them quickly sold out after that. 
This is a vintage Corningware. It's the blue cornflower design and I had picked this up at a Goodwill for five dollars and it didn't sit very long and it sold for $17.99. Next is a Disney Parks Mad as a Hatter green coffee mug. Um, this is from the Alice in Wonderland and it sold for $14.99. I picked it up for only a couple dollars from the Goodwill. And the funny thing about this sale is that it shipped all the way to the North Pole. I thought that was pretty cool. They actually paid more for shipping than they paid for the mug, but they must have really liked it. It is super cute. And so even though that wasn't a huge profit, it was still a good sell. All right, the last of my rainbow pool float sold. This one sold for $32.99. And once again, I paid $10 for it. So even though they sat for a long time, they are finally all gone. And um, a decent profit was made. The last of my hard goods sales was this blue willow teacup and saucer. I actually have a collection of teacups and I'm trying to scale down a bit. So I'm trying to part with some of them. This one has that Asian style um, and it sold for $12.99. And I need to go ahead and list a lot of the others. But um, so yeah, this was the last of my hard goods sales. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my clothing and shoe sales. First is this ladies Adidas golf jacket. I picked this up at a Goodwill for around $5 and it sold for $19.99. Next is this Miller Lite Penske Racing Men's Shirt. I picked this up at a Goodwill for around $3 and it sat for quite a while and I honestly thought that I would get a lot more for it. It only sold for $13.99, but I was glad to finally see it go. Next are these Piazza Women's Wool Wide Leg Cropped Pants. These I picked up at a garage sale for a quarter. It was one of those rare times where this woman was selling all of her clothes for a quarter and she actually had nice name brand clothes. Um, so I got quite a bit and even though this one sat for a while, it eventually sold for $18.99, which after paying a quarter was great profit. So I'm happy about Next is this BCBG women's rust colored blouse. I paid around $6 for this at a Goodwill and sold it for $23.99. These are some men's Ted Baker London swim trunks. I picked up two of these at a Goodwill. I paid around $4 each for them and sold them both to the same person for $24.99 each. And this is the first pair. Next is this Bailey 44 women's polka dot dress. And I got this at a Goodwill for around $5 and it had been sitting in my store for a while. So I sent out an offer to the watchers for 15 and it sold. So I'm glad to see pieces that have been sitting a, for a while sell. And this is one of them. Here's the other pair of Ted Baker London swim trunks sold to the same person. He paid $24.99 for each pair. And on these, I offered free shipping and shipped them both together to save him some money on shipping. Next is a Jamie Sadek long sleeve golf shirt. I got these at a Goodwill and I paid around $4 for it and it sold for $24.99. 
All right, my last sale for the last two weeks of the month of June were these Born Bach flip-flops for women. I paid around $5 for them and they sold for $15.99, which is not an amazing profit, um, but every sale helps. And so, yeah, this was my last sale for the month and hopefully some of this information was helpful um, for anybody else that's interested in reselling and thank you for watching and thank you for the ones who participated in my last giveaway I will be doing that again probably twice a month that's my goal and thank you for watching guys and until next time bye